Carter drifting off to the left immediately, and away goes Dan Carter. Throws a couple of dummies, and now here's a real chance for Israel Dagg. Got away on the outside of Bell, and Israel Dagg scores a brilliant try. Oh, what a try, and how happy are they, the All Blacks? Superb, they worked it well. They had the advantage by going that way. The Wallabies were thin, but the move itself was absolutely superb. Carter started from behind the scrum. The pass from Reed was outstanding. Carter hit it at pace, and then he threw the ball in behind the runner. I think it was Sonny Bill and Israel Dag. Well, he only had Bill to beat, but not an easy feat. Here he comes Dag now, behind Sonny, no, it's behind Jose Gear. He's still got work to do, the footwork, the goose step. He's got support on the inside. He doesn't need it over. He goes, great executed set piece for Smithy. Yeah, he has not been at his best. He'd be the first to admit that, but there are the signs, Israel Dag. Look at the step here, which absolutely bamboozles Kirtley Bear, which stops him as he comes across. The touchline, usually the friend of the defender on that occasion, but uh, it looked for all money as if uh, Israel Dag had acres of space. That made, he made it look so easy. Terrific move, some good decoy runs as well in there. And did you see the way, too, that he put the ball into the left hand? Had he needed to fend, he would have been able to, and then he put it back into the right hand after he'd done the job. He certainly did. He did everything technically perfect then, and Bill was mesmerised by the footwork, but as you mentioned, the ball position as well was in the right place. What a fantastic finish from Israel Dag, but you have to commend the coaching, the players, Dan Carter, for what a great set-piece move they've, they've conjured up there. That just bamboozled the Aussies. First try for Israel Dag against the Wallabies. Ninth overall. Now Carter from roughly the same position as the penalty. And it is going to be down the middle. Lovely kick again. And the All Blacks out to 10 points to three after 15 minutes play.